Okay, if you're a little more adventurous in the types of stitches that you want to do, then next I'm going to show you the stem stitch, which has a nice wrapped look. I'm also going to show you the blanket stitch and the chain stitch. And the chain stitch has a variety of options to it. So first we're going to do the stem stitch. And for the stem stitch, the key thing is that you're not pulling your stitch all the way through for each, for each stitch. And you come up halfway through the stitch that you're making. So if I'm going to take this uh, stem maybe in this direction up here, I come up in one hole, I go down in another in the direction I'm traveling, but then I'm going to come up about halfway in between those two points and then pull my stitch through. And the next one is key also that if I'm if I'm curling, I think this direction, I'm going to put it down in the direction I'm headed, but come up where the previous stitch came down, right there, and then go. Now, these stitches have a more dramatic look if they're made a little closer together. So I'm gonna try to do that here. And when you do that, it's a bit harder on this thick uh, fabric. So I'm going to go down and then come up right there. Okay. So as you travel, you'll see how the stitches sort of wrap around each other because you're coming up halfway through the previous stitch and then you're going down and you're going to come up again right where the previous one went down. Just like that. Okay. So that is your stem stitch. Um, this is a fun one to use in a turn because say if I if I started to turn in this direction I can put it put the needle down there and if I just pulled it that would make a pretty drastic turn right there but if I come up at that point and stop it it starts to bend a little better like that and you can still have that wrapped look Okay, so that is our wrapped stem stitch. Your last stitch, just go down um, slightly to the right of your previous one and you'll get one final little wrap right there. All right, so that's a good one for a lot of our pieces. <coughs> and the next one is going to be the blanket stitch. And for the blanket stitch, I'm gonna use one of my colors so that I can show you how to make the, the blanket wheel that could be one of our flowers. And to do the blanket stitch is similar to the, to the stem stitch that we're coming up partway th from coming up at A and down at B on another stitch and you're catching that, that uh, the thread. So if I'm gonna do a blanket wheel here on this stem, I'm going to show you that I will start coming up wherever I want the outside of the flower to be, and I'm going to go down where my center of the flower is, but I'm not going to pull this yarn all the way through. I'm going to come up a little further away from the first place that I came up, and I'm going to catch my yarn in the process. So I'm holding that yarn out to make like an L. Now to do the wheel, we're gonna keep going down in the same hole, but we're going to come up at a different point in our circle. So this time I'm gonna come up at the stem and coming up through the loop and catching my yarn. And you're gonna be turning your piece in your hand as you as you do this. 
So going down in the center again and coming up a little further to the side in our circle. And there's another one. Okay, so that will just keep going around and you'll be able to see your flower happening. There we go. Keep going down in the center and up over here. Don't forget to catch that yarn. Okay, down, up, catch the yarn, pull it through. Down in the middle, up at the perimeter, catch your yarn, and pull through. At the end, you'll go down in the middle and come up where your first stitch came up and catch your yarn and then your last stitch is just going to go back down into that same hole just to tack down that last that last stitch there you go and there's your buttonhole flower all right so another one that I want to show you is a chain stitch and this can be a fun one for for stems. The chain stitch is also very similar to the lazy daisy stitch because one isolated lazy daisy is uh, similar to the very last chain in a chain stitch. So first I'm going to show you um, the chain. We would start at the bottom wherever you want your chain to be. And I hold the yarn to the side with my left hand. You're going to go back down in the same hole where you came up, but then come up where you want to catch the link of your chain, like that. And just don't pull the yarn all the way tight. Again, hold it to the side, go down in that same hole, and come up just above it. You can turn with a chain stitch also. They don't have to be perfectly straight lines. Just come up at a different point and you'll start to, to angle. You can do it again, down and up over here. There you go. And remember, you don't have to go up and down in the, um, the big holes in your Tunisian. You can split through the strands if you need to. So again, down and up. I want it to be there. Make sure that yarn is wrapped around your needle. And voila, there you go. All right, so then at the end, again, you just tack the needle right back down into basically the same hole where you came up. And that's it, that's your chain stitch. You can use it to make individual stitches, like I said, for the rain. For the rain, you would just come up and go back down in the same hole, come up at a different spot, and then just tack it down. Except that this is sort of a upside down, when that's what happens when, it, when you pull it too tight. This is sort of upside down rain, I guess a raindrop would be more like this, <coughs> having your bottom point lower. So it looks a little bit more like a raindrop, like that, okay? And a series of these isolated um, chain stitches is what creates a lazy daisy flower. When you come up, when the, the point of your, the starting point of your flower is all at the same location, that is going to make the flower. So you can see how that's happening and with your color of choice. You could do a bunch of petals in a circle and have a flower. So there I've shown you stem stitch, chain stitch, isolated chains, and how you could start making a flower with it. All right, enjoy!